I've been writing a bit and recording a few videos lately about transport layer protection. Uh, often we'll refer to it as TLS or SSL or HTTPS. Whichever way you look at it, it's protecting traffic over the wire using the certificate system. And what's a little bit interesting is that people often do insufficient implementations of transport layer protection. So recently I've posted videos around things like if you load your login form over HTTP, even though you post to HTTPS, it can be at risk. And the site here is a good example of a, a variation on that. So let me show you what's going on here. Uh, and this is one someone sent to me just the other day. So what happens, this is the countdown uh, shopping site in New Zealand. And when you go and click on the login link and you see your login form, it looks like the whole thing is loaded over HTTP. And that's a, a pretty reasonable assumption for someone to draw because there's no evidence to the contrary. However, if we close the window and turn on the Chrome Developer Tools, and we're on our Network tab here, and we'll just try and log in again, what we'll see is that first of all, there is a GET request, which results in a 302. And that GET request is to one card panels customer login. The 302, of course, is a redirect, and what happens is it redirects to this path. And this path is indeed a secure connection. So the login form is actually being loaded securely. You don't know that because you can't see it in the address bar and there's no way to inspect the certificate or any of that sort of thing. But the login page itself is actually loaded securely. And in fact, if we go and have a look at this path, what we'll find is that it does indeed have a valid certificate. It's an extended validation certificate. So we've got some good authenticity here in terms of the owners of this site. So this page itself is pretty good. We're really not going to be able to break this on its own. We've got to go upstream a little bit. So let's go back to the home page and we'll have a look at where the real problem is. So if we go under the page inspector and we take a look at the login button, the login button links to that login form, which we just saw. Okay, so customer dash login, pretty normal. Now the problem of course, is that because this page has been loaded over HTTP and not HTTPS, we can modify it. So what I want to try and do now is demonstrate how we can mount a man in the middle attack against this page to attack the login and steal the credentials. So I'm going to jump over and make some changes to my proxy settings. Now in this case, I'm managing the proxy on my own PC, but it wouldn't matter if we're managing the proxy at the ISP level or anywhere else. The point is, is that any point that insecure traffic is transmitted through is vulnerable not only to an attacker observing or reading the traffic, but to an attacker manipulating the traffic. And there are plenty of points that can happen, and indeed that's why we have HTTPS at all. So over on my proxy, I am now going to enable my man in the middle attack. And what I want to do now is actually go back to the site that we're attacking, and I'm going to reload the page. So let's just close those dev tools, give it a reload, and everything still looks perfectly normal. So far, so good. Let's go and click on the login link again. And we'll put in a username. And we'll call it john at uh, gmail.com. And we'll put in a password. And let us now just log in. So all of that looks pretty normal. The login didn't work. We'll come back to why that happened in just a moment. But from an end user perspective, this is the experience that you would expect to have when everything happened normally without an attacker sitting somewhere in the middle. But let's have a look at what's really happened. So I'm going to close that login form. Let's fire back into the developer tools. Let's go and inspect that login link again, because what we'll find is that things are a little bit different. So if you look down here now, we can see that an entirely different URL has been loaded when we click the login link. Let's go and have a look at that guy. So what we can see here is a login form which looks just like the legitimate login form, except it is loaded off hackyourself.troyhunt.com. So this is loaded off my website. So this is effectively me being the attacker saying, instead of giving you the login form that you want, I'm going to give you my login form. And of course, after that, it's all just HTML markup, so I can easily impersonate that login form. Now let's have a look at what actually happened after that. So we'll go back down onto the network tab, let us now log in. And if we have a look at our network requests, of course, we will see that this first one did come from hackyourself.troyhunt.com. Let's clear that traffic and let's just try this again. So we entered john at gmail.com and then we entered the credentials 
and we clicked log in. So what actually happened? We can see a few different requests. The important one though is that there was a post request to my website. These credentials were posted to hackyourself.troyhunt.com. And as we scroll down a little bit, we can see in the form data that the credentials were indeed posted. So there was the username just there. There was the password just there. So that was all sent off to my website. If I was an attacker, I would have harvested those. So I would have stored them somewhere. I could come back and exploit them later on. I then returned a 307 temporary redirect response which sent the browser off to the legitimate login site. Now by sending a 307, it actually caused the browser to post the same form data again, which is why you still see John's email address here in the login form. Now that is actually the legitimate login form. I just made up some credentials for this demo, which is why it failed. But if someone did actually log in with legitimate credentials, the login would have gone through just fine. So it would have been a very seamless experience indeed they wouldn't have known that there was a man in the middle at all. Now this is an extremely simple demo. It probably took about 15 minutes to put it together. And it just goes to show that HTTPS is about far more than just protecting the credentials that you're sending or even just protecting the login form. If you cannot see an HTTPS scheme in the address bar and you can't inspect the certificate and you can't see that it is the legitimate certificate for that site, you have absolutely zero confidence in the integrity of the page that you're looking at. So practices like this are just totally pointless. And it's kind of crazy because they've said, hey, we need HTTPS. They are actually loading their login form over HTTPS. So there is an acknowledgement that there is this risk that requires transport layer protection. But clearly what they haven't quite realized is that they really haven't mitigated the risk very well at all. There's still this dead simple attack vector. So really, there are two options in this case. Either they just load the entire thing over HTTPS and repeat the same pattern of loading a login page into a frame and popping it up on the page, or they just link off to the login page in its own browser window somewhere with a great big nice green EV certificate sitting up there in the address bar. Anything short of that is entirely self-defeating of using HTTPS in the first place.